Let us create a realistic looking rope in Blender. We start by adding a circle. Now you want to go into edit mode. You can press shift D to duplicate and move that to the side. Let's align this vertices. Do the same shift D. Repeat. Alright, we we'll go ahead and delete these vertices in the middle. Now we select and merge at center. Select the vertices, press M and merge at center. Go back to object mode. Now in object mode, we want to set the origin of the geometry to the origin. And press Alt G to move it to the center of your scene. Now you can go and add a modifier under your modifier add the screw modifier increase the screw value and you can increase the iterations let's scale this down now we can press shift a add a curve let's use the busier curve Press Alt G to take it to the origin point. Go into edit mode. You can delete those vertices. And let's draw a curve shape. If we select the screw, we can go and add an array modifier and change this. To the Z axis and then add another modifier the curve curve modifier select this as your curve object and change the deform axis to the Z axis so if you increase the face count the number of counts it will follow the curve So to check if our normals are facing the right direction, you can go to this icon and select on face orientation and you can see that the red is outside. So we'll have to flip it. So go to your screw normals and flip normals. So now we have our normal facing the right direction. And turn off face orientation now. So after this, you want to apply all the modifiers. You can go ahead and click on this icon and apply modifier, or just select the curve and convert to mesh, and you have all the modifiers applied. Then you can go to the object. Let's look for a quick fit, quick for. You want to create loose strands of the rope. So the radius, we can increase that. If you are not seeing the value of the radius, what you can do is come here to your scene, go to curves and change it from strand to strip. Interpolation, we want to change the density. All right. So we want to add a geometry node. You can come here, open our asset browser, and we want to add the trim hair curves. So you can drag this and drop it here. Select, add the trim hair curves. This will allow us to be able to change the length of the hair and turn off scale uniform and give this a reasonable length. So there you have your rope created. For the textures, you can just do a simple texture. Go to your shader editor and set the color to maybe an orange looking material add the ambient occlusion 
how to make sure that use the ambient occlusion as the factor let's add a velvet material put that in and we can put it to black or almost black now we want to add a color ramp we want this inverted so that the areas in between the rope will appear darker so you can adjust the distance here then we can add the bump link that to the normal see that let's add the texture pressing with your node wrangler add-on turned on Press shift and control and click on the wave texture. And now we want to adjust this wave texture. Let's change this to the Z axis and take the scale up. So we want to create this kind of pattern on the rope and use that to drive the pump map. So we can still increase that. Let's link this back and we have that. So we can go ahead and decrease the strength. Strands of the rope and use nodes and change the material. It will appear black. So what we have to do is make this a single user material by clicking this icon and remove the bump map. Also remove the ambient operation just delete that and link it directly so there you have it this is how you can easily create a realistic looking rope in blender i hope you learned something today don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video